Today, we are on the front line and we will discuss about chemical reaction and its relation to fire control. What are we waiting for? Let's start. Accident bring tears, fire safety bring cheers. Before everything else, let us first define what chemical reaction is. Chemical reaction is the process of how it breaks and forms bonds between the atoms. Balance reaction, reversibility, and equilibrium. Chemical reactions occur when chemical bonds between atoms are formed or broken. The substances that go into a chemical reaction are called the reactants, and the substances produced at the end of the reaction are known as the products. There are four types of chemical reactions, namely the synthesis, the composition, single replacement, and double replacement. Synthesis is when two elements combine to form a new substance. It is also called a direct combination reaction, wherein two chemicals make a new substance. For example, hydrogen plus oxygen is equal to water. Another one is combustion reactions. That happens when a chemical combined with oxygen and the product is fire or other forms of heat. Combustion reactions. First, we will know about how fire is produced. It is through combustion which is a chemical reaction between two or more substances that produces heat and light in the form of flame. The rate at which the reactants combine is high, partly due to the nature of the chemical reaction and partly because more energy is released than can be absorbed by the surrounding medium, causing the temperature of the reactants to rise even faster. History and Early Uses of Fire Fire is the rapid combustion of combustible materials that produces heat and is typically followed by flame. It is one of the human race's most important resources. It aided in the human race's progress toward civilization. The origin of fire is linked to the origin of plants, which provided two of the three elements required for fire to exist, oxygen and fuel. The third component is a source of heat. The original source of fire was lighting. The first humans learned to master fire on how to use it for a variety of purposes. They learned to use fire not only to keep warm and cook their food, but also to conduct fire drives for hunting or warfare. Components of Fire The light-producing flame is made up of glowing particles of burning material and luminous gases. Most of the matter in a flame is made up of hot gases that give off heat and light. Now let's move on to the benefits of fire. Fire has been both our best friend and our greatest enemy since its discovery. Although fire is still a hazard in our lives, it also contributes to the high quality of life we have today. Everything we do is fueled by fire. We use it to cook, build metal structures, produce energy on a large scale, make medicines, and of course, to keep warm. And now let's move on to the fire hazards. Any actions that increase the size or severity of a fire is called fire hazards. It can be caused by fuel that is easy to ignite or a heat source like a defective appliance. Fires are often caused by electrical issues. Almost every system has an electrical service. By observing a common toaster, you can easily See that there is a plenty of energy available to cause a fire. Other causes of fire can also come from a rubbish and waste material. Fire control procedures and guidelines. So we have eight steps on how to prevent fires at home. First, install and maintain smoke alarms to be aware of fire. Second, never leave food cooking unattended, especially deep fryers and other frying equipment. Third, Always check the equipment first, especially the wires before using it. Fourth, avoid portable and fixed space heaters. Heating equipment is the second heating source of home fires. Fifth, have a fire plan that gets you out in two minutes. Make sure to have a printed or digital copy of your well-designed fire plan and orient your family members about it. Six, avoid smoking in house. Only smoke in designated smoking areas. Seven, never leave flammable materials such as rubbish. And lastly, make sure to have a first aid kit at home. 
Remember that in emergency situations, it is important to have a first aid kit with you along with other basic essentials. And now let's talk about on how to use a fire extinguisher. I know you are all curious about this one. So here's the thing. In using a fire extinguisher, we have an acronym called PASS. So the first letter is letter P. P stands for pull the pin. Hold the fire extinguisher with the nozzle pointing away from you and remove the pin to unlock it. And the next letter is letter A. A stands for aim low. You need to point the nozzle at the base of the fire. The next letter is letter S. S stands for squeeze. So squeeze the lever slowly and evenly. And lastly, the letter S, other S again, which stands for sweep. Sweep the nozzle from side to side to wash out the fire. And that's how to use a fire extinguisher. Very basic, right? What to do in case of fire? First, immediately pull the nearest fire alarm. Second, when evacuating the building, be sure to peel doors for heat before opening them to be sure there is no fire danger on the other side. Second, if there is smoke in the air, stay low to the ground, especially your head, to reduce inhalation exposure. Keep on hand on the wall to prevent disorientation and crawl to the nearest exit. If there is smoke in the air, stay low at the ground, especially your head. You can also lean on the walls or put your hands on the walls to prevent from disorientation. And then crawl to exit if possible. Another way to prevent inhalation of smoke is to get a wet piece of towel or wet piece of cloth and use it to cover your mouth and nose. Fourth, once away and clear from danger, call your report contact and inform them about the fire. And lastly, go to your refuge area and wait for further instructions from emergency personnel. This ends our discussion and we hope you understand what chemical reaction is specifically in fire control. We hope that you learned a thing or two from us and thank you for watching and listening. Again, we are on the front line. Accident brings tears. Fire safety brings cheers. Thank you and adjust! Thank you.